Hey, do you girls like my unicorn poppet? <laughs> I stole it from my cousin. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dandra, that's so funny. Hey, uh, Mr. Sesame, Mr. Sesame, can I please go to the bathroom? Madison, you should have gone at lunch, so hurry up. Mr. Sesame and Mr. Sesame, can I go too, please? Hello, only one girl at a time, and you know better. Uh, Mr. Sesame, can I please go to the bathroom? It's an emergency. No, Christina. You know better than that. Only one girl allowed at a time. Oh, my goodness. Madison's not going to want to chat with me in the bathroom. And do you really feel like cleaning up an accident? Pretty please, with a cherry on top, can I go to the bathroom? Fine, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Madison's just going to adore this. <laughs> I'm such an angel. <laughs> what the heck? Who did this? <laughs> oh! You are such a weird, annoying, little, unfunny, short rat. Like, if you're going to prank someone, at least make it funny. Like, is this potty humor or something? Potty humor? Oh, it's disgusting and unfunny. Like, let me go to the bathroom in peace, you little weirdo. Jeez, I'm sorry. Maybe you should just learn to take a joke. Shut! Smurf hair? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yay, you're back! How did it go? <laughs> Not good. Uh, Madison got so mad at me. And she called me Smurf Hair, just like I expected. Why does everyone always bring that up? That happened in 2021. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bestie. Please, don't take anything Madison says seriously. She's literally mean to everyone, even her own friends, okay? And there's worse insults out there than Smurf Hair. Please, don't take it seriously. You're right. At least Smurf Hair was kind of a little funny. It's like Smurf Cat. We live, we love, we lie. Uh -huh. Hey, Christina. Your jokes aren't funny. Were you making jokes about Smurf Cat? Like, just shut up, you stupid Smurf hair idiot. No wonder you're making jokes about Smurf Cat. Because you have Smurf hair! <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone! Skibbity toilet! <laughs> 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 Christina, I'm so sorry about what happened in class. People at our school are really mean. Ugh, I know, right? Everyone in our school was so soft and sensitive, nobody could take a joke. School would be so much funner if people could. Yeah, 
Imagine, like, everybody at the school liked pranks and, like, prank each other every day. That would be so much fun. <gasps> You're a genius, Chloe. We're going to rule the school with pranks, and I know just how. Meet me in the bathroom after recess. Really? All right, then. Hey, Christina, I'm here. So what's your plan? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. We're going to make some advertisements to put around the school. I'm going to write down my address on this piece of paper and tell everybody that they must come to my house this Saturday for a super important announcement. And I'm going to tape them all over the school. Maybe we could even try and get on the morning announcements. That'd be awesome. Uh, I don't exactly get it. Why exactly are we giving everyone in the school your address? Because I want everyone in the school to come to my house so I can make a super important announcement. We're going to have some epic prank wars! It's going to be an epic competition called the Silly Showdown. There's going to be four different teams and I'm going to put some polls online so kids from all around the world can vote for whoever the best prankster on each team is. Um, some pranksters from each team are going to set up some pranks and we're going to get some kids online to vote for who the best prankster is. And whoever the best prankster is gets to be team leader. Everyone's going to be doing so many pranks. Everyone's going to want to be the best prankster. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to find a way to get the whole school involved. Wow, Christina, that sounds like a great idea. But do you think we will be able to get the whole school involved? There's like 200 kids in our school. Okay, well, maybe not the whole school since there are like 200 kids in our school, but maybe we could get half the school involved. Now help me make some posters. Wow, Chloe, you have really nice handwriting. Thanks, Christina. I guess my handwriting is kind of neater than normal, but I think your handwriting's just really messy. Hey, not true. Let's get these signs up now. Yeah, one down. Beautiful. Gotta put one in the corner where everyone sneaks their phones. Ugh, Heather, Principal Dingleberry caught me with my phone again, and now it's locked up in the office. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, Mika, I'm so sorry about that. Hey, Heather, what does that sign say over there? Oh my gosh, Mika, that's on our street. Let's go tell the girls about this. Uh, Carter, bro? What does that sign say? I don't know how to read. You Quandale Dingle Doofus Dorkhead, of course you can't read. It says that it's from the school and that you have to meet at 123 Sesame Street on Saturday. And it's really important. Uh, we probably shouldn't go. It's probably like a trick or something. Nah, man. I bet you it's an epic party with free food. We should go, bro! Uh, Tyler, you know I love snacks, man. Let's go. <laughs> Class is so boring. I love hanging out with you girls. I know, right, Autumn? I love skipping class in the bathroom. Hey, what's that note all about? Oh, wow, Mackenzie, you found a note. It says Rainbow Shores Elementary, so it's from the school. It wants us to all meet up at 123 Sesame Street on Saturday, and apparently it's really important. That's not from the school, Ivy. That's Christina's handwriting, can't you tell? Anyways, do you think we should meet up there, you guys? I mean, Christina's really nice. 
Yeah, Aurelia. Christina's a really nice and fun person to hang out with. And she's really funny, so I think we should go. Yeah, what Victoria said. Let's go after school, everyone. After school? Oh, I gotta hurry up. They could be here any minute now. Uh, hey, Christina. What exactly are you doing with this big piece of furniture? Oh, uh, hey, Mommy. I found this at the dump, and I'm putting it together. You can go now. Okay, then. I'm scared. On Saturday. Oh, wait, Christina. They could be here any minute now. I still can't believe we found that huge shelf in the dump. I know, right? Great find. Come in! Oh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi, Aurelia. You girls are first to come. Um, Aurelia, you could go to Team 1. And Mackenzie, you could go to Team 2. Oh, man, we're on separate teams. Either way, this is pretty cool. Let's go. Team 3. Team two and four. Team four. Team three. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Silly Showdown. I'm your president, Christina, and I'm your vice president, Chloe. And the Silly Showdown is a big prank war. As you guys can tell, you guys are all assigned to either Team 1, Team 2, Team 3, or Team 4. Ooh, this is so much fun! So, each of these teams is a prank team. And I need you guys, from all teams, to pull as many pranks as you can in this following week on any opposing team. Whoever pulls the best prank may get to become team leader. You guys are going to pull lots and lots of pranks, and we're going to put polls up online so kids all around the world could vote for who the best prankster is. And whoever's voted best prankster will at next week's meeting, which is also going to be here every Saturday. There's going to be meetings here every Saturday. They will be chosen as team leader. We don't care if you don't want to participate in this. You decided to come here, so you're now a part of the Silly Showdown. You guys are all so soft and sensitive, and you guys all need to learn to take jokes. So let's have some fun! Yeah, let's have some fun! Prank away and meet here next Saturday! What a fun idea Christina had. I'm going to put some tape on the end of my best friend Mackenzie's remote. So when she tries to watch TV, tape will be covering the sensor. So the remote's not going to work. There we go. All taped up. Ah, time to watch some good old TV. What the heck? How come the TV won't turn on? Oh, it's probably that silly prank thing. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. I really like this pranking idea. So I'm going to take this toy and I'm going to use this washable black marker to draw a fake spider on it. Then whoever pops one of the bubbles is going to get a surprise. Hopefully one of my sisters plays with this. I already told Brittany about this because oh, that little brat is stuck on my team. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm so bored. I'm going to play with one of these poppy fidget things. This one looks fun. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. He's so cute. What? Why is he flat? Oh my gosh, I got so excited. I thought I found a cute little spider friend, but it's just drawn on. Is this a part of that prank thing or something? Because you didn't get me. 
look at this delicious ice cream sandwich cookie. Well, it's not going to be delicious for long. First, we got to take the old filling out. And now we're going to add the new filling. Look even more delicious than before. Yo, who left an ice cream sandwich out? Bet. Hey, yo, why is it spicy? Is that toothpaste? Um, um, hey, it's kind of bossing though, bro. Like, yo, that's actually kind of sick. Um, yum, yum, yum. All right, I gotta admit, this whole prank war thing sounds pretty fun. So I went ahead and colored these fake beetles, and I'm gonna go sprinkle them on my friends over there. This is gonna be so fun. Yeah, oh my gosh, and then literally, <gasps> Gosh, Maddie, Kella's not joking. There's bugs all in your hair. Ugh. Ew, what the heck? That is so gross. Someone help. Get it off. What do I do? Ah! Ew, it's so big. That's disgusting. Uh, uh huh. Why is it flat? Like, why is it made out of paper? <laughs> I got you, Maddie. Those are just paper bugs I made. Wait, oh my gosh, Mika, you did that? You're actually taking that stupid prank thing Christina made up seriously? You have to be kidding me. Like, don't try and be funny with me because that wasn't even funny. That was just annoying, unnecessary, and immature. You are so immature, Mika. Talk to me once you get some common sense and maturity back in your head. Cause that was just flat out stupid and annoying. Uh, yeah, Mika, that was just kind of annoying. Like, oh my gosh, you little rat, what has gotten into you? You're acting like an immature little boy. Like, grow up and get some real humor and come back when you do, meek rat. Anyone got rat poisoning from meek rat here? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take this pillow and swap it out for something else. Oh, I'm so tired. Ow, why is my pillow so hard? What the? TNV? What? Jack Dawson? Why is my pillow Titanic on VHS? Out of all things, why Titanic on VHS? Like, who is responsible for this goofy prank? <laughs> hey, Aurelia, come here. I made a plate of brownies for us. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad, Autumn. You would not believe what just ha- What? Take as many of my delicious brownies as you'd like. Oh my gosh, good one, Autumn. I just got pranked two times in a row. Ugh, being a bad kid is exhausting sometimes, I'm telling you. I need to play some Roblox. Ow! I was just about to sit down. Why'd you kick my chair? Ivy? <laughs> gotcha, Paisley. And by the way, one of these days, all your popular friends, they're all going to find out you're bad. And they're probably going to ditch you, so might want to consider turning good if you want to keep your friends. Oh, they'll never know. They're so clueless. Now get away from me. 
I'm going to use some of this tape and tape it on the sink so that whoever the next person is that turns on the sink, they're going to get splashed with water. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I need to wash my hands. They're so dirty. from each team was, then go to our YouTube channel and check out the community tab. Then you should see four polls, one poll for each team, asking you to vote for who the best prankster is. So make sure to go and vote for who you think the best prankster was, and then whoever gets the most votes will be team leader, which will be announced in the next episode in this series. Bye for now, friends!